We tend to think of angels as beautiful humans with shining light and gorgeous wings, but the angels described in the Bible are far from that. In fact, some biblical angels look like your worst nightmares, especially the ones higher up on the hierarchy. There are nine levels of angels, each with a unique appearance and position. Let's take a look at the nine spheres of the angelic hierarchy. First sphere, closest to God, seraphim. Seraphim occupy the highest position among the angelic hierarchies, standing closest to God. They are described in the book of Isaiah as majestic beings with six wings, two covering their faces, two covering their feet, and two for flying. This appearance signifies their deep reverence and humility in the presence of the divine, as well as their readiness to execute God's will. Seraphim are associated with fire, a symbol of purification, and they are known for their ceaseless worship of God. They proclaim God's holiness and glory, as illustrated by their chant, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Their primary power lies in their role as purifiers and worshipers, constantly upholding the sanctity of God's presence. Cherubim. Cherubim rank just below the seraphim in the angelic hierarchy. Their job is to guard the divine. In the book of Ezekiel, they are depicted as having four wings and multiple faces. That of a man, a lion, an ox, and an eagle. The cherubim's four faces symbolize the full spectrum of God's creation, representing human intelligence, the wild strength of nature, the nurturing power of domestic animals, and the transcendent spirituality of the heavens. In the Garden of Eden narrative, cherubim guard the way to the Tree of Life, highlighting their role as protectors of sacred things. They are often associated with the throne of God, serving both as guardians and bearers of the divine throne. The cherubim symbolize wisdom, knowledge, and the all-seeing nature of God embodying his power and authority over creation. Thrones, thrones or ophanim, occupy the third highest order of angels. They are among the most unique looking angels, portrayed as wheel-like structures covered with eyes. While this might seem creepy, there's a symbolic meaning to this appearance. They are all seeing and constantly vigilant. This imagery, described in the book of Ezekiel, symbolizes the throne's role in carrying out God's judgment and maintaining cosmic order. They are the chariots of God, and their circular form represents the perfection and unceasing activity of divine justice. The thrones serve as a link between the higher spiritual realms and the lower orders of angels, helping to carry out what God decides and decrees. Second Sphere – Heavenly Governors Dominions, also known as dominations, are the managers of the angel world. Their task is to ensure that all the other angels are doing their jobs right and carrying out God's commands perfectly. They're portrayed as noble, senior figures, holding scepters or orbs. These symbolize their authority and governance. They work under the guidance of higher angels, harmonizing the activities of angels and the universe. They are the embodiment of leadership and management in the celestial realm, tasked with implementing God's will through the angelic orders beneath them. Virtues. The virtues are known for their control of the elements and are often considered the spirits of motion. They are also responsible for performing miracles on earth. They're shown as strong and glowing, often dressed like soldiers to demonstrate their power. They hold lances and shields to symbolize their power to give humans bravery and courage. The virtues are in charge of aspects such as the weather and the stars. Powers. Powers are warrior angels against evil, defending the cosmos and humans. They are also seen as the keepers of history and order in the universe. They are portrayed in full battle armor, symbolizing their role as defenders and soldiers of God's domain. Powers are responsible for overseeing the distribution of power among humankind, guarding against any demonic attempts to disrupt the world's balance. They also maintain the border between heaven and earth, ensuring that the laws of God are not violated. 
It's the powers that keep evil at bay and protect believers from demons. Third Sphere Messengers to Earth Principalities Principalities oversee groups of people and are involved in the management of nations and kingdoms. They are the mayors or governors in the angel world. They often appear in art wearing crowns and holding scepters, symbols of leadership and control. Their main task is to watch over various places and groups on Earth, guiding and protecting them. They ensure that the laws of the universe and God's plan are being followed. These angels are similar to guardians of communities who work to keep everything in order and harmony. Archangels Possibly the most well-known types of angels. These are God's main messengers. Famous archangels like Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael each have their own specific roles to carry out. They're typically depicted in human form, with majestic wings, but their appearance varies depending on their roles. Michael is often shown as a warrior, fighting against evil. Gabriel is seen as a messenger, bringing important news from God, and Raphael is known as a healer. They interact with humans, bringing God's messages, helping and protecting people, and sometimes leading God's armies against evil forces. Angels. These are the angels that are closest to humans. They are often shown as human-like figures with wings and are known as guardian angels. Each one looks after an individual person, guiding and protecting them throughout their life. They're described as helpers from heaven, watching over you, listening to your prayers, and helping you in times of need. Their main task is to be there for people, offering guidance, comfort, and sometimes even warning or steering them in the right direction according to God's plan. And there you have it, the nine hierarchies of angels. Which did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.